just in, Dems issue horrifying threat to Trump, they must be stopped. The Democrats in Washington are trying to undermine the president's authority in a way that few others would dare. According to Fox News, Democrats floated the idea of taking away Mr. Trump's power to use nuclear weapons, claiming that he is far too unstable to be trusted with such a responsibility. In the current geopolitical climate, it's essential for America's enemies to know that the President of the United States has the authority to destroy them, hence deterring any potential attacks. In light of recent exchanges between President Trump and the North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un, many liberals in Congress feel that Mr. Trump can't carry such an important responsibility. We are concerned that the President of the United States is so unstable, is so volatile has a decision-making process that is so quixotic that he might order a nuclear weapons strike that is wildly out of step with U.S. national security interests, Senator Chris Murphy, DCT, said at a Senate Foreign Affairs Committee hearing. Rep. Murphy had support from Senator Ed Markey, DMA, and Senator Ben Cardin, DMD, both who expressed similar concerns. One Republican senator who has feuded with the president in the past, Senator Bob Corker, RTN, stated that he wanted to re-examine the realities of this system that gives the president power to order a nuclear strike. In contrast to these sentiments, Air Force General Robert Keller, retired, explained that the military doesn't blindly follow orders, especially concerning something as grave as a nuclear strike. Nothing happens automatically, Keller told the committee, saying that a decision to use nuclear weapons must be legal and involves assessment review, and consultation between the president and key civilian and military leaders, followed by transmission and implementation of any presidential decision by the forces themselves. It's a stark contrast to the depiction that the president can order a nuclear launch at a touch of a button. The back and forth between President Trump and the North Korean leader has been a long-standing issue for those concerned about a potential nuclear conflict. Recently, a state-run newspaper in the Rogue Nation announced that Mr. Trump had officially been sentenced to death, according to The Guardian. He should know that he is just a hideous criminal sentenced to death by the Korean people, read the Redung Sin Mun. This isn't the first time Democrats have pushed to curtail Mr. Trump of his legal powers as Commander-in-Chief of the U.S. military. The Hill reported that back in January of 2017, Senator Markey, as well as Rep. Ted Lieu, DCA, proposed a bill restricting the ability to launch a first strike. Congress must act to preserve global stability by restricting the circumstances under which the U.S. would be the first nation to use a nuclear weapon, said Rep. Liu at the time. Our founders created a system of checks and balances, and it is essential for that standard to be applied to the potentially civilization-ending threat of nuclear war. Depriving the president of this critical power to deter potential attacks would not only embolden enemies of the U.S., but make President Trump appear weaker, the last thing the Founding Fathers would want for the country. Three.